Eh, not so much the case. So moving on. Why were we attacked? They were somehow able to sniff us out. And How? They attacked because they were after the blue gem that Nochi owns. What? So this place is a hideout. And you're not gonna learn what the hell the, gem, the gems do in this storyline. Oh man, you a little um the disrespect, man. Holy crap! What? Master G, it looks like there isn't much time. In the castle town near here is Tsuramaki Manor. It's used as a fortress by those of us from the old world. Okay. Most likely, it's already under attack. So then, that means we must go there immediately. On it. Join Warsaw. Well, now that they found you, I don't think there's really much point in staying in a spot anyway. We can't stay here anyway. It's not safe for us. They'll only send more attackers. Yeah, exactly. I see. Well, we'll also be kind of smart to split up too. To do what? I was attacked by a bear and she saved me. You were kind enough to bring me in and feed me. I insist that I accompany you. Well, why the hell not? You're a man who repays his debts, I see. <laughs> we should go. Frankly, I just want to reunite with Mugen so we just get we can get the story going, but whatever. Wow, that black blank out on the screen there was kinda scary for a minute. And you generally run into this every time you leave the town. Um why I didn't do it immediately, I don't know, but, you know, you generally do this, like, right when you leave a town. Um, really weird, blue-sounding is hard. You, you find more suitable being a Cowboy Bebop game, but no, probably not. But it is a, there's a Cowboy Bebop, uh, PS2 Cowboy Bebop game. I do own it, and I will be doing Let's Play of that in the future, but I need an English patch of that first. So, unfortunately, that's going to have to wait for a good while. But, you know, oh my god, they have range on that. Did you just see that? Holy shit. Anyway, let's talk about this. This... Weird phenomenon known as trance mode. Uh, when we get a chance to get back into it, we I can show you this chaos, and it's gonna be great. Oh, it's gonna be great. Anyway, um, right now you I don't need to be facing every enemy. So, as a matter of fact, fuck that. <laughs> Truthfully, you don't need to face enemies in this game. Facing enemies, the only thing it'll really do for you is a build hyper mode, which is kind of cool, I guess. It'll get you money, which is trust me, you don't get a lot of money. I wish it give you more money, actually. And you'll get Kobons, which I actually do need. I'm just doing this right now so I can kind of advance a little bit and go right to the next gate I need to get at. That, you're, you're gonna see what I mean, folks. There's one enemy that surpasses all others in this game, and he's a pain ass. This is a hilarious look at, too. Anyway, actually, let's swap, um, let's swap my weapons. Uh, just switch weapons, hold L2, use left and right D pads, which is different weapons. Uh, this is the Wasp Stinger. Kind of weird looking, but alright. Frankly, I don't know the stats of it offhand, but I will definitely leave notes for this on screen so anyone who's interested can use it. And there's the true final boss of the game right there. The Koban Gate. Motherfucker. So this Mike Tyson looking motherfucker is an asshole. He basically won't let you through unless you give a certain amount of Kobans. Kobans are basically these cert these special um, coins you get by, um, by defeating enemies. Um, it'll be randomly dropped. I think it's like a 10% chance, honestly. Um, in order to advance, you have to give him a certain amount. And that means, that basically means you have to kill enemies. This isn't always just fun being told what to do. And anyway, let's do this shit. I don't think I have enough point time to do it. Nah, not quite. 96. That's alright. Oh my god, I exploded. Oh yeah, alright, I have four Kobons. I guess I don't need to worry about it too much. Hey, I got five. Cool. Anyway, let's move on. So, Mike Tyson looking motherfucker. Let me pass. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> For it doesn't seem like it's really bad right now, but I'm a thorough believer that the Koban system is what single-handedly destroys this game. And I'm not even just I'm not even counting the that that's also counting the um the repetitive gameplay, the story mode that makes no fucking sense, the complete betrayal of what the this series stands for, you know, etc. etc. Anyway, so, um, still sticking to this system. Um, 
as I explained before, if you beat enough enemies and you, and you get to maximum uh, tension gauge, tension gauge is te technically measured by. Oh my god, that hit. I might have enough time to this. Yes, I do. Not quite. That didn't match hard enough. Fuck. All things will be explained in due time, people. Don't do not worry too much. I will, unlike this game, I will not leave you completely in the dark. As weird as this is already, though, but you know, hell, I'm standing. Damn, I'm just racking in the dough right now. I forgot how easy this is to destroy this game with Jin. This is great. But, um, I guess I should get some more details out of the way. So, um, I explained before that Shinichino Watanabe, everyone's waifu, is not in this game. So, who is directing this game? Um, funny enough, Watanabe has literally no involvement in this game whatsoever. And I discussed this with Brandon, apparently he tells me that usually when it comes to media that doesn't have anything to do with the media, media things he's responsible for, he generally won't be involved in it, and I could definitely see that because, oh my god, Watanabe would probably not have this kind of weird bullshit in this game. It's it's quite bad. It's quite bad. I know people will love the man to death, but I'm kind of somewhere in the middle. I like the guy, but I don't like his like his pacing and stories. As lacking the stories in general, but that's just me personally. Um, but damn, it, he literally had no. He he wasn't even. I think he's in the credits. I think he's like an executive executive producer or something. But executive producers literally don't mean anything when it comes to stories. Um. Or uh, productions, um, overall results. Yeah. <laughs> I like what we're just talking about this now. Well, at least we're talking about it in general, I suppose. And you're not gonna like the results. It's really fucking dumb. <laughs> Mutton. Demons. Yep, Onis. Demons. Now we can't exist in this game. And oh boy, it's gonna be good later. <laughs> oh, is it ever? Yeah, back into it. Cool. Anyway, let me check out the next weapon, Ibaru. Also, yeah, it really does take a second for the weapon to load in. Like, I'm not kidding about that. It takes a second. You can literally swing with it, and nothing will be there. Did I just. Lose? Wait, 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 hold on. Whoa, 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 back up, back up, back up. Either I'm crazy, or I just lost a little bit of my durability by just swinging this into the air. I can't be the only one who saw that. Oh my god, what the hell just happened? Or maybe, nah, I think that was just switching weapon. My bad. I was like, don't tell me this game's even more fucking broken than I thought it was. Nah, luckily that's not the case. Well, although it's pretty fucking busted already. But you know that I was standing. Yeah, that's pathetic. All right, so um, it, it I do have multiple paths right now, but truthfully, don't they don't mean dick. One just leads to some treasure, which isn't really much of a treasure. It's usually just like healing item. And yeah, I'm gonna go south. Usually in, the, in this game, like it just wants to go north, so I'm gonna go south. Fuck you! I'm gonna go where I want. I'm an explorer, damn it! And you also. You, you never really have required fights unless it's a boss or kill X amount of people missions. Outside of that, you can completely ignore everyone you want, and that's actually probably for the better for your overall progression of the game. I do, I, I insistently really apologize to the audience right now. You cannot see any of these fuckers right now. Ugh. Well, let's see. While you, I am definitely going to need some Kobons to progress, though. Oh, hey. That's building on fire, and fucking Mike Tyson is guarding this like an asshole. Or maybe he's not. Maybe I'm just overly paranoid. I don't, I don't know. Maybe this game's just going up. So wait, make me look like a dick. Nah, actually, I wouldn't be surprised by that. Honestly, this game is a bit of a dick already. Pre-existing dick. Yeah. The fire is spreading quickly. Where's Warsaw? Great. And she goes in anyway. Uh, kid? Seriously? Okay, good. <laughs> I was gonna say, if you're actually gonna walk in there. Now, I know I said I've done a practice playthrough this already, but... Oh my god, I did... I completed Jin's story at, like, the beginning of the summer. I just couldn't bring myself to actually completing this game at the time. It's so bad. 
<laughs> something about an ape. Yeah, it's, that describes Mugen pretty well, actually. Surprisingly well. We'll use this chance to rescue Warsaw. Wait, I'll go into the manor. You? But no, I don't want to be a dick, Jameson Price, but I think I get slaughtered out here while I'm away. Since uh, th this series kind of plays up Jin as the strong. What if uh, one of these strongest swordsmen in all of Japan? Like, they kind of literally do play up that fact, especially at the very end of the series, especially against Karia. <laughs> Karia is literally like one of two people's names I actually probably remember in this fucking show. No, I'm joking about that. I don't think those two correlate, lady, but alright. Does she ever blink? Oh my god, what is motion capture? I'll be back. <laughs> motion capture is something this budget couldn't afford. Yes. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I always love that slack jaw look people have where they like always have their mouth open. That <laughs> always gets a good kick out of me. But anyway, moving on. So, um. Oh god, what are we doing right now? Oh yeah, that's right. I can just do that. Uh, just for future reference, if you click R three, um, it will tell you. It won't show you your display, and you you can just see this, and it technically does like minimize the screen a little bit. Yeah, it does go up, so you can have a little screen a little bit more open. However, I generally like to keep it on this, so I can visually see where my button to go into hyper mode is personally, and see exactly what I have for combos at the moment. I don't think I was like here. Let's go inside. It's more of an aesthetic thing than anything else, but I'm certain someone's gonna want to like keep that shit off screen so yeah just click r3 rotate it right or push it right and you're fine cool and we're inside a flaming manor this is great fantastic wow there's a fucking war in here a battle between supernatural creatures yep supernatural kind of describes this game pretty well actually Something that should not be in the Samurai Champloo series because, you know, kind of trying to be a f fantastical yet realistic recreation of um, Edo era Japan, but, you know, it's not even worth there. Anyway, so generally, I. Oh my god, I swear to god, if Mike Tyson is in here. Anyway, so, weapon I have, Ibaru. Um, I definitely display it on the screen by now, but unfortunately, I do not have access to the information right now. I will look up later. But first. Almost there. Got it. Hell yeah. And here we enter trance mode. And it's gonna get weird, guys. It's gonna get fucking weird. Alright, so basically trance mode. Because I definitely know there's a fucking echo right now. Uh, trance mode is basically this little mini game you go into where you continuously kill enemies and in a fight for survival. If you manage to kill 100 enemies without getting hit three times, you will get a bonus item. You'll get like, I don't like a weapon. You'll get like concept art I don't know what the concept art really is actually um, if you beat 50 enemies you will get an additional hit point back that's really cool um, actually there's a really big bug in this version in this game mode where if you um if you act if you manage to activate uh, hyper mode in the middle of this you will have permanent hyper mode it does not go away I'm not even shitting you it's actually hilarious how broken it is but yeah general idea is just to keep swinging and you're fine especially at this point in the game uh, enemies in missions 1, 2, 3, and 4 are generally kind of comatose. 5 and up, that's where it gets a little crazy. Especially in, the, in hyper mode. Uh, you can get some busted shit in this. And you can see I'm all, I'm all this one already. Bro mainly because Jin's square attacks are so fucking good. Uh, almost there. A few more to go. You'll actually, truth be told, you'll rarely see me go actually go into uh, this mode. It takes too much time, really. And it got Nagadosu. Oh, cool. I actually didn't know I didn't complete it yet. <laughs> cool. Oh, great. Now it reads to complete that mode every time I go in now. However, I do want to mention a cool thing. When you do uh, enter that minigame to go into trance mode, or allow you to get into trance mode, to get, like, you know, gotta get 100 hits to go into trance mode. Um, if you, even if you fail, it will give you all your health, health back. So that's really cool. Um, I do not recommend actually going to trance mode, though, because it eats up a shitload of time. A lot more than you'd like, in all honesty. It's just, yeah. I mean, it's neat. You do get free shit, and that doesn't really cost you anything. But 
It's just pain in the ass. That's just me personally. I could describe that as the majority of this game, though. Just a giant pain in the ass, but alright. Uh, you know, I keep talking shit about this game, but I don't think I've actually given a good solid reason as to why yet. Uh, but they'll become more important as we go along. Right now, uh, all you see is that, yeah, it's, it's repetitive, but it's not terrible. Uh, it gets highly extended way later on, trust me, guys. Health? Eh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, if you go down, go like on off the beam path, you can get some cool items. Except I think that was actually hidden in plain sight. It was easy to find a hidden item than the rod needed to, to progress. That's that's no, that's fantastic. No, no, I like that kind of game design. Hmm, totally good, totally good. <laughs> These little screens always get me. Real cool shit. All right, all right. Let me just quickly show you. Um, actually, nah, it's not worth it right now. If you don't hit him for long enough, eventually that. What is that supposed to go that way? I hope so. <laughs> Man, these load times are just the stuff of legends. I swear to God. As soon as it loads, one of these days. Here we go. Ah, it's you. What kept you? It's me. I don't know who the hell you are. I still don't know who the hell you are. That's Mito. What's your name? I am Gene. <laughs> you know, it's a bit of a stupid personal note when I was watching this show for the first time when I was like 15. Like because of the way they pronounced Jin, I always thought he was I always thought his name was spelled J E A N, but no, it's it's, it's, it's pronounced Jin, but they say Gene for some reason. I don't like. <laughs> Studio Gonzo was weird. Or Gonzac in this case. I think it's Gonzac. If it's not, I'm gonna feel fucking stupid. Actually, you know what? To be safe, I'm going to go look that up really fast. Where are you? I like how I'm literally doing this in the middle of a cutscene. This is great. Head up. Up. Okay. You want me to go up? I couldn't even tell. Literally browsing my email list on this really fast. Jesus Christ, this thing looks weird. Uh, Genie on your ver- wait, no, Genie was the developer. This makes no sense. Victor? <laughs> Alright, I don't have a name right now. Holy fuck, even my analyst is not telling me. Uh, I do want to say it was Gonzac, though. That's like the first thing that comes to mind. Cause I don't think it was Namco, or- no, god damn it. Um, I don't think it was Bandai that had it, um, because they went under after, um... I think what, yeah, they went under afterwards, I believe. Because, you know, everyone pirating the fuck out of Gundam, because, you know, Gundam's expensive. Over, re, unreasonably overpriced, but, you know, that's the story for another day. Come on, you fuckers. Hey, look, people that can actually guard. So let's fix that. <laughs> that's easy. A triangle text, I... Don't think they're blockable by enemies. Uh, actually, triangle attacks are fucking broken as hell. That's all I gotta say. Wow, that's pathetic. <laughs> my god, they're guarding my attacks. What do I do? Uh, just triangle attack. It goes to guards. And if they um, try swinging at you, you'll get into counter mode. And I don't think. I don't remember if there's an actual name for that or not. Technique mode? Technique counter? I don't remember. It's something. That guy didn't give me money. That guy gave me money. Hell yeah. That's fine. That's what I'm talking about. Um, there is a w also there's a way to regain weapon durability during the middle of a match, but it's so infrequent. It sucks. <laughs> Always love that. Oh, shockwave he does it at the end there. Always nice. Damn, this place got massacred. Shit. Well, ain't this nice? Did I get another Koban? Yeah. Also, you can actually oddly, I know the Kobans are kind of difficult to see amongst like the pools of coins we're currently getting, but um, you can actually oddly hear Kobans being picked up. They're like a high-pitched chime. Uh, see, I told you this fucker looks like Mike Tyson. It's kind of weird. Hey, five out on dime, hell yeah. Five out on dime, I just said that. Um, if you want to, you can continue to go out of your way to keep collecting Kobans even after the required amount you need for a completed mission is, is met. But honestly, it's just bonus money and it's not too much. Oh, hey, Mugat's here. What the? So, did you enjoy having a giant lizard shoved down your throat? 
More details as that comes along, guys. Nobody's gonna stop us here. I've no reason to refuse. So th this fire, oh my god, it's more like an overlay than anything else. What? You again? Since you're here and all, circumstances dictate that you keep each other's company for a little while longer. That's creepy. Now I have a favor to ask the two of you. Huh? Speak. <laughs> Tonight, As Jin's going a little cross-eyed there. The ground, we've been forced to place blood and land on the scales and choose one. We chose blood. We'll head out tonight together and find another land where we can find peace. I like how there's literally this ongoing war and it's completely off screen. Huh? I don't get it. Here I man, here I. Look after Nochiu. Mugen. Keep the blue gem safe. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's meet at that castle. When we do. Oh god, no. Please no. We can kill each other or something. Well, aren't you courteous, man? I mean, we all have to have hobbies, I suppose, but just killing each other? Alright, sure, why not? Something like that. I can relate, man. Foo? I don't think you should give a shit. Why was this one? Is, maybe I haven't been paying attention. I wouldn't be surprised actually. But since when does Mugen have earrings? I don't know, it's actually. Especially giant green emeralds in his ears, Jesus. I'd argue that Fu doesn't really have a lot of strong attributes. What? Whoa! <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Um. Oh, oh, okay. I thought I thought that was Jin for a second. I was like, "What? What?" Also, come on, you can't tell me you didn't see this coming from my way. Seriously, his robe looked blue in his shading, always from that angle. Dude, Jameson, I I literally can't hear you over the sound of your mullet right now. Holy crap! Uh. I speak up a little bit there. Thank God for subtitles. This is going on. This is bad as Sonic Adventure mixing. Ugh. Well, Sonic Adventure 2 sound mixing. Ugh. Have you guys ever seen a Sonic Adventure 2 cutscene? My God. The sound mixing is so shit. As well as a lot of other things in those games, actually. But you know what I mean? <laughs> in that game, but you know what I mean? Anyway, so. 41 minutes. My God. Where'd I get? I didn't get a lot of money for that. I'm not surprised. Broke shampoo. Again, I really, I really don't think those mean anything in the long run, as far as I'm aware, honestly. But you know, 